channel Fragrance Journey. Got a wonderful review for y'all today on a house that I've spoken about. Shout out to my, uh, shout out to Jenna from Fragrance Vault. She also sent me samples of the whole line and I got a 10 ml D can of Narcotico and that's all I would need. Today I'm gonna be talking about one that I think is the best from the line. I haven't seen a full bottle review for this one. Um, it's got rave reviews on Fragranica. Also, Base Note, I think it's got really good reviews. But this one I'm talking about is from the house of Mel Ficini, and it is Little Song. Wooden cap, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. As always, the presentation with Mel Ficini is just top of the line. This is a fragrance that stands out to me because it's, it's so different. I don't have a animalic gourmand tobacco like rose fragrance. I don't even know if that fucking exists, to be honest. But this brings so many different notes that you wouldn't think work well together. And it makes just, I don't like using the word masterpiece, but a really beautiful composition. Yeah, that's 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 amazing. The notes of bergamot, ginger, pink pepper, Turkish rose, coffee extracts, tobacco, vetiver bourbon, civet, sage, musk, and labanum. Starts off kind of spicy, but you always get that coffee note. But behind that coffee, you get a little bit of tobacco, which is a really beautiful, beautiful, dry, dark tobacco. The, the coffee's dark too. It's, this is not a sweet fragrance at all. It's very dry. You also got a beautiful rose. As you start to get towards the middle notes, you get some vetiver. You still got that rose. You still got that coffee. You still got that tobacco. You also have that animalic civet note, which makes this composition so, so masculine. I mean, I just, I'm so excited about this fragrance. So excited. I'm so happy to have this in my collection. It's also got some musk in it too. I do get a little bit of the labdanum, but it's not really sweet. You know what I mean? But the civet is just, oh, I love animalic fragrances. This is not a fecal. This is not fecal at all, but it's definitely animalic. It's spicy. Beautiful coffee, rose, all the notes blend together just amazingly to make that composition just amazing. I mean, it's a, um, an amazing composition. Shout out to Mel Ficini. They, this is a monster. The projection on this is crazy. The sillage on it is crazy. I don't know if I'm a bundle spread it. I may, I, I may bundle spread. This is definitely a. This is gonna be another one that I'm only probably gonna wear for a special occasion. Uh, this is not something that I'm gonna wear on a daily basis. This is definitely something that you probably wanna wear in the colder months, but wear your juices whenever you want to. But I am so impressed with the line of Mel Ficini. Um, everything I've smelled from the whole line, I really enjoy. There's just one fragrance that I really don't care for, but I'll get into that when I do the whole line review. Um, but this is just blended so well. It's an animalic gourmand tobacco vetiver. Just, I'm just, I'm, I'm almost speechless with how well this is blended because when I saw the notes, I thought rose, tobacco, and coffee, bergamot, pepper, musk, civet. I was like, uh, I don't know if that's gonna work. I don't know if that's gonna work. But this is, this is. A 10 out of 10 in my book. Um, I don't use the word, like I said, masterpiece, but this is definitely a 10 out of 10 fragrance. Uh, it hits every aspect so well, plus the performance and the sillage is just out of this world on this. Um, the price tag on this is pretty expensive. I think this bottle is going to run you like 280 bucks. Um, I never pay retail, but this bottle is going to run you 280 bucks for 100 mil. Um, and it's just, it's just a, just a badass fragrance. It's just a badass fragrance. Uh, a couple of sprays, you definitely going to be projecting. And as I always say in all my videos, my goal is to not smell like anybody else. So when I wear this, I know for a fact, no one is going to smell like me. And that's definitely important to me. I know I say that a lot, but that's, that's why I do this. I don't do this to smell like everybody else. I do this to be able to go in my collection and pick out things that I know no one's going to smell like. But that's just a quick review. 
I'm totally impressed with the house of Mel Ficini. If you get a chance to get your nose on Little Song, if I won't say if you're a go if you don't like Gourmand, you may not like this one. Um, but I think everybody should give it a try because it is like one of a kind. I haven't smelled anything like this before. I mean, in my travels to Paris and London, I've been to all kind of boutiques and Javoy and all kind of places. I've never smelled anything like this. But maybe you can tell me down in the comment section if there is a coffee, rose, tobacco, civet, musk combination type fragrance. I haven't smelled it before, but there may be. Um, but that's just a quick review. Hopefully everybody has a blessed weekend. I haven't been really talking about this. We almost had a thousand subscribers. I'm not really doing this for the subscribers, um, but reaching a thousand will definitely, definitely be a milestone for me. I'm almost there. Shout out to all the reviewers. Shout out to everybody that supports the channel. I definitely appreciate it. I do this because I love this shit. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love smelling good. I love smelling unique. And I don't want to smell like anybody else. So hope everybody has a blessed weekend. If you woke up today, you're definitely winning. And other than that, I'm out. Peace.